Ryan. Uh, I've sent you a couple of emails. I don't know if you've read them, but I'm not sure. I do not say beige. Beige is too 90s and gray is just way too 2014. I mean, Anna? Anna? Free. I knew it was you. Free, hi. How are you? I'm good. You know, working hard. Oh, I bet. I was just telling Michael the other day how glad I am to be done with all of that. Right, Michael? Michael. What? I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Michael. Anna. Hi, Michael. You have our wedding pictures? <laughs> Michael, that is so rude. Let me say hi first. Hi, do you have our wedding pictures? Uh, I'm uh, almost done with them. Been like a year. Seven months. It feels like a year. I, uh, I've been meaning to write you about that. My email has been really messed up. I am, I am seriously almost done. Uh, it would be a couple of days or, or a week tops. Okay. So next Friday, wedding pictures. What time? I don't know. I'll, I'll call you. Okay. I'll <laughs> see you then. Okay, bye. Anna, I finally caught you. Did you listen to my messages? Some. I mean, you called like 12 times. Right. Sorry about that. We need to talk about mom. You know what? If you want to talk about mom, can I call you later? Anna, we really need to talk about this. The doctor says she's getting worse. How are the twins? Good. They're good. Anna, I need to tell Brian, you Brian, I gotta go. We're selling mom's house. When? Now. Well, soon. It's already on the market. You weren't gonna tell me? I've been trying. It... This thing's progressing faster than we thought, and mom wants to call the shots while she still can, so... She stepped down from the bench, and she's decided to move into assisted living on her own terms. Wait, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. I, I don't want to talk about this. Um, you know what? I'm okay with whatever you decide to do. You know, sell the house, whatever. Anna, come on. Don't be like that. No. Really? I mean, you know, it sounds like, sounds like you've got it under control. Well, I don't. Work's insane, which means Jill's already pissed at me for not spending enough time at home. I, I can't pack up the house and move mom by myself. So you'll hire someone. Or you could come home and help. Right. 
mom and I are not. Anna, she's sick, and she's only going to get worse. Come home and help out. She got I really think she would appreciate it. I doubt it. I could really use the help. I can't. I'm sorry. Anna, come on. I never ask you to do things like this, but I really need you to step up this time. Please. Thanks, Karen. Anna? Okay. Okay? Is that a yes you'll come home? Yes. Yes, I'll come. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll tell Mom. She'll be excited. Right. Um, are you going to be around after work to talk details? I guess. Great. Uh, thanks again, Anna. with you. <laughs> Not today, bud. I love you so much. And I'll see you this weekend, okay? In the meantime... Keep an eye on things, okay? I love you. I can be in New York for that deposition, but book the earliest flight back. Thanks, Mom. I just want to be in and out. Oh, there she is. Karen, I gotta call you back. Hi, sorry I'm late. Not a problem. It's great to see you. It's good to see you, too. Everything okay? Yeah, I just took the scenic route. Mom, Anna's here. Anna's in Chicago. Well, actually... Hi, Mom. Anna. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you move. We're selling the house. Oh, please, Anna, I'm not that far gone. I know I'm selling the house. You didn't have to come all the way up here. Brian and I have got everything under control. Actually, Mom, we talked about this. Uh, we thought we could use some extra help. But, honey, I thought we agreed that Anna was the wrong person for the job. She's got her hands full getting her own life together right now. I can hear you. I know. Now, Brian, I think we just need to let Anna focus on finding her career. I have a career. 
Art is not a career, sweetheart. Art is a hobby. Brian has a career. Mom, didn't you say you had some emails that you wanted to take care of? Yes, I do. Great. So why don't you take care of those now, and I will show Anna where we're at with the packing and how the schedule works. Brian, there's no need to... When, when you talk down to someone... Condescend? Condescend. If you and your sister want to take some time to talk about me behind my back, just say so. I have plenty of work to do. Okay, we need time to talk about you behind your back. I'll be in my office. I told you this was a bad idea. It'll be fine. She's still working? Ish. Every firm in town wants her to join as an advisory partner. It's really more of a gesture than an actual job, but um, she's taking the decision pretty seriously. Take it they don't know about the... No, not yet. She's pretty ferocious when it comes to her privacy. Ah, damn. I gotta go to the office, so... Um, Mom's meds are in the cabinet next to the fridge. She takes two memantine with no, the... what? And uh, no smoking in the house. I don't smoke anymore. Great. It's really nice seeing you. It's been a long time. The Harriet Herald. take some new pictures for the tomato series and the whole newsletter is done. I can take those pictures now. Thanks. All right, I gotta go. I have a baseball game at four. Oh, I thought that we could take the pictures together. Can't, but you could come to my game later if you want. Totally, I mean, if I can. Great, see you there, banana. See ya. Dear Anna, I hope you don't mind that I planted my mailbox in your garden. I'm a little lonely and I'm hoping to grow a friendship. I really like books, swimming, and s'mores. What about you, your friend? I never did do anything with this room. What were you gonna do? I don't know, something. Oh, you're unpacking, that's good. Are you hungry? A little. Well, finish up here, then come downstairs. I'll make you a snack and we can go over the list. List? Yes. Triangles or squares? Squares. Here we go. Glassware, wrap three times with newspaper, once loosely, once tightly, once loosely again. Pack vertically in a small glass wine box. This is a pretty detailed list. Less opportunity for error. China. Wrap three times in newspaper, once loosely, once tightly, once loosely again. Place one piece of cardboard between each item. Pack carefully in China box. 
plates. Wrap each plate three times with bubble wrap insert. Time to turn the light out. Mom, we've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Anna? Hmm? Anna Banana! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you. No, bro. What are you doing here? Oh, did Brandon tell you? I'm your realtor. No way, for real? Yeah, for real. Yeah, I got a card and everything. I got a second showing upstairs as we speak. Oh, I totally forgot. Is my mom... Um... No, she's at lunch with Brian. Okay, um, well, I can, I can get out of here, too. No, no, it's okay. They're big on discussing. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited about all the interest in this place, but I gotta tell you, I'm kinda bummed you're selling it. Uh, I have a lot of great memories of this house. <laughs> I think I spent more time in your backyard than I did in my own. I guess that's true. I mean, um, at least in our newsletter days. <laughs> newsletter, right. The, the Harriet... The... Harriet Harold. Yes. Bringing the news of, of the, the neighborhood, neighborhood to your doorstep. doorstep. <laughs> wow, we really were pretty big dorks back then, weren't we? We really were. Yeah. So, um, how's Chicago? Are you still taking pictures? Yep. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll be right up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my cue. It's great to see you. So, uh, how long are you in town? Oh, you know, uh, till we're all packed up. Oh, great. Hey, we should get together and have a drink sometime soon. Yeah, no, I, I would love to. Cool. Tim, we're ready to go. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's actually uh, let's 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 head on back. I'll be in touch. Dear Dragonfly, do you think love always has to end? I think that I might be in love with my best friend. But I'm worried that it'll mess up our friendship. Hey! Are you spying on me? No, calm down. I was just watching you write your love letter to your dragonfly. It's not a love letter. Then why are you writing to him? I don't know. It's fun. It's a mystery. He understands about stuff. Stuff no one else understands. No one else? Fine. Hey! Where are you going? You're busy, and I've got other things to do. Tim! Later, banana. Love sucks. Do you want to do this part, Mom? No, I just want to make sure that everything goes in the box the right way. You know, you could have the movers do this part later. It's pretty straightforward. Not to everyone. Come on in, the door's open. Hi, Daddy. Bug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at you. Still gorgeous. Jim, please have a mess. A man's entitled to his opinion. <laughs> so, can I get you something? Beer? Wine? It's 11 a.m. And your point is? I'll take a beer. That's my girl. Let me know what you think of this. It's a Minnesota brew. I've been trying to buy local and all that. So? It's good. It's the um, same place as the Lonely Blonde beer you sent me. Good girl. You betcha. <laughs> Check out the label on that. Sweet child of vine. Cute. I thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> so I should read into Lonely Blonde then too, huh? I just want to see my baby happy. I'm happy, Dad. Really? Yeah, really. You know, maybe not at this exact moment in my life, living at home with a mother who just oozes disappointment. But you know, besides that, sure, I'm happy. Yeah, you totally sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. It's 
You know, if I didn't know mom was sick, I would have no idea. She's so... Intense. <clears throat> That's a nice way to put it. But you know what, Bug? Go easy on her. This thing that she's got, it's no joke. Yeah. Yeah, I know. How do you like the tomatoes? Look good. I thought so. So how is work outside of the garden? Oh, it's fine. You know, work's work. I'd rather play. <laughs> well, you can't be doing too bad. New downtown loft. Yeah, that commercial work's good for paying the bills. I could actually use a little bit of that. You think I could tag along next time, learn the rope? No, you're too good for that. I'm proud of you, struggling, not selling out. You put your own value on your work. Yeah, but... No, yeah, but... You've got magic. You honor that. <laughs> you want some hummus? No, I'm good. Okay. It's super garlicky. And you know, I've, uh, I've always heard that the, the garlic is really heart healthy. But then I was reading this thing, it actually doesn't make any difference, but if you feel better, then you have a healthier heart. I got it in here somewhere. I've got tapenade too, if you'd rather have something like that. May you rise before the sun does. Hear the red stars. It's a miracle I didn't. She practically jumped in front of my car. Whose fault is that? This is a quiet neighborhood. This is not a... Uh, uh... I have friends in the police department and they will be... Good. Go ahead and call them. I'll tell them what happened. Hey, 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 hey. There's no need to involve the police. Let's all just calm down. Mom, why don't you go inside and cool off? I don't need to cool off, Anna, and I don't need your help. Now go to your room. Is she always like this? Excuse me? Mom, just let me take care of this, okay? Listen, she has early onset Alzheimer's. Anna! My son is an excellent attorney. Expect to hear from him shortly. I'm really sorry. It's, it's all right. I didn't realize she was sick. You know, keep an eye on her. It could have been really bad. Tough crossword? 
No, it's a real disappointment, actually. The crossword? Yeah, she'd think it could count on the New York Times at least for quality and consistency. But this is really, this is really unacceptable. Can I help? I don't see how, it's wrong. 18 down, hearsay, five letters beginning with R. There's no such word. Maybe you're just having a hard time thinking of I'm it. I'm not having a hard time thinking of it. It doesn't exist. I should know. Rumor? Excuse me? Five down starts with an R. Rumor? Rumor isn't hearsay. Hearsay is testimony given by a witness based on what they heard rather than what they, they, uh, I'll, I'll try it though. You need a, a what? Uh, for under a cup of coffee, uh, uh, a cold start. Sorry about that. It's all right. You can get that. Oh, it's okay. A friend? Client, actually. You should take it. How's the wedding photography going? Okay, I guess. I mean, it's just a money job. What isn't? If you don't make money, it isn't a job. Right. I'm actually trying to sell some of my own pictures. Really? Good girl. To magazines? Uh, no, no, my work's not commercial like that. Um, I'm actually looking at art galleries. Like there's this coffee shop right by me oh, that's really shop? interesting. That's not serious. I thought you were being serious. I am. Uh, they feature a new artist every month and coffee I- Coffee shop is not serious. Now the wedding photography, that could be something. I mean, what about that big wedding you shot? I, that was, I, I, haven't you gotten any, um, is the referrals? Referrals. Have you gotten any referrals from that? Uh, not yet. I'm still finishing up their photographs. Anna, that wedding was months ago. I know. I'm really focusing on doing my own work. No, you're not. You're procrastinating. You're, you're... Your responsibility. You're, you're, you're shirking. You are shirking your responsibility. Your father does that. It's a habit, and it's a bad one. You don't know. You're not there. The evidence is plain. What evidence? I'm not on trial. Well, if you were. What? You'd find me guilty? Yeah, I already know that. Where are you going? You know, I'm not 10 anymore. I don't have to stay for this. So you don't, you're just gonna run away You know, away I again? wish that just once you would trust that I know what I'm doing. Trust has to be earned, Anna. How? You are a grown woman. It is time to take responsibility for the, 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 that you accept responsibility for the, the, I like the composition on this one, but there's not enough light. You see what I mean? I guess, but how do I fix that? It's not like I can turn up the sun. No, but you could open the aperture a little, or you could leave the lens open. Dad, I'm shooting with this. Hey, I'm sorry, bug. It's just you're taking such good pictures, I keep forgetting that you're shooting with that piece of shit camera. Dad. Sorry, piece of crap camera. We're just gonna have to get you a real camera. Seriously? Seriously. Yes! <laughs> Well, that's my cue. No, Daddy, don't go. Stay just a little bit longer. I wish I could, but... There you are. Where's your brother? Hello, Phil. Hello, Claire. I was just leaving. No, Daddy, stay for dinner. Tell him he can stay for dinner, Mom. I don't think that's a very good idea. But, Mom! I'm sorry, Anna. My decision is final. You'll have dinner with your dad at his house this weekend. It's a condo, not a house. At his condo, then. I wish you could stay at your condo all the time. Me too, bud. Dad said I could get a new camera. Did he? We'll discuss it. You don't have to discuss it because Dad said I could already get one. She has real talent, Claire. I'm sure she does. Just like she had talent for painting and ice skating and the drums for that matter. Then the moment we buy her an expensive piece of equipment, she forgets all about it and she's on to the next thing. We've talked about this, Phil. This is not like that. This is different, Claire. Photography's in her blood. So is having a hard time with commitment. She doesn't have a hard time with commitment. She needs to find something that she feels passionate about and then have somebody trust her and support her. I support her. I have a real job where I work all day, every day to support her and her brother. And I don't? This is not about you, Phil. The hell it isn't. You're unbelievable, Claire. Just keep pushing, you're gonna drive her away too. Your opinion is noted. You may leave now. 
You can't dismiss me. This isn't your courtroom. No, it's my home. And if I remember correctly, you know how to see yourself out. You ruin everything. I'm sorry you feel that way. Dinner in five minutes. I picked up Chinese food and got the egg rolls you love. I'm not hungry. You may leave now. Where are you going? To Dad's. I assume you'll be all right? Of course. Great. Just try and stay out of the streets. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's just, you know, sometimes I'm thankful when she can't find the words, but when she has heard enough. Careful, Bug. You don't want to say something you're going to regret later. Well, I, I found some things that I want to show you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boy. That brings back memories. I can't believe I made you shoot with this piece of shit. Hey, I love that piece of shit. <laughs> yes, you did. And this. What is it? You tell me. Oh. <laughs> uh, may I? Of course. Dear Anna, I'm glad we have each other too. Sometimes I feel lonelier when I'm surrounded by other people than when I'm actually by myself. Sometimes being with people who don't understand you can be worse than being by yourself. Who wrote this? You. What? Dad, please, I just want to say thank you. These letters meant so much to me. When you left, I was really lonely. But then getting these letters and knowing there was still someone around who understood me, someone I could talk to, it really helped. Bug. I love you so much. But I didn't write this. Dad, come on. Who else would come up with the idea to grow a magical mailbox in a garden? It grew in a garden? Dude, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I wish I wrote them. But honestly, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's just, you know, if it wasn't you, who was it? God, I'm lucky I didn't end up on the back of a milk carton. <laughs> it really wasn't you? No, it really wasn't. Hey, don't worry, though. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> oh, and, and by the way, you know, I've got something that I wanted to ask you, too. Yeah? Yeah, I've, uh, I've met this woman do you think that 30 is too young for me to be dating? Daddy, gross. What? Oh, I've got a better picture. Gross! Brian, you're my light. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Banana. Hi. Flowers? Oh, they're, uh, they're for your mom. We are officially in contract now. <laughs> right. Congrats. You too. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> that thing is still here. You remember that? <laughs> of course. You're the only person I know who tried to grow tomatoes and grow mailbox instead. Hey. <laughs> hey, I grew tomatoes too. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was actually really jealous of that mailbox. Yeah? I mean, a mysterious pen pal, it's like every 10-year-old's dream. Right? And so I gotta know, who was it? Honestly? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Come on. 
Really? <laughs> so it's still a mystery. I kind of love that. Yeah? Yeah. That's because you don't have to think about some freaky psychopath stalking you as a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It was obviously somebody that cared about you a lot. In a non-freaky sort of way. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to this thing on Friday night at an art gallery in Northeast. Some friends of mine are having a big opening. Would you want to come? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if I can. Great. I'll text you the details. Okay. I should go deliver these. <laughs> Wait, smile. How was it? Good. Bye for now. You look beautiful. Thanks, Mom. I made a list. I thought we could go through it when you get home tonight. Mom, you already gave me that list. No, I didn't. Mom, you did. We've been using it to pack for two weeks. We have? Of course. Of course we have. I, I just wanted to double check and make sure we'd gone over it together. Are you sure you're okay? Do you need me to stick around tonight? Don't be ridiculous. You're sure? Yes, Anna, I'm sure. I'm not a child who needs to be babysat. I'm fine. Okay, I'm just asking. And make sure you're home by midnight. Your curfew is still intact. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. So do you. It's so good to see you. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Really? Yes. Seeing you in the garden, talking about my letters, it was like a dream. Your letters? Of course. You didn't know? I was too shy to tell you how I felt back then, so I had to write it. I have been waiting all this time. For me to figure it out. For you. Excuse me. You look... wow. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> Anna, this is Isla. And this is her gallery. Oh. Oh, I thought... <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm always a little suspect of the word 
beautiful. It's so weighted down with heteronormative expectations, but I think I know what you mean. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Tim says that you two grew up together. Yeah. Um, I gave Anna her first gig, <laughs> the, the Harry Herald. Herald. <laughs> it was a neighborhood newsletter. And now Anna's a real photographer. Really? What's the focus of your work? Oh, I don't know that I'm that focused. <laughs> Ironic, right? <laughs> photographer who has a hard time with focus. <laughs> Anyway, um, I actually uh, illustrate over the photographs that I take to change the, the feel or, or the focus of the scene. That's so interesting. Maybe we could have a couple of your pieces here. What do you think, babe? That is an amazing idea. We're so sweet. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I forgot where I was for a minute. <laughs> so, um, mm. sorry. Yeah. You guys are... Oh, Sam and Steve are here. They're, they're two of our biggest supporters. Do you mind if I steal Tim away for just a minute to say hello? Sure. Yeah, just be a minute. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. It means a lot. Of course. Red or white? Yes. Beautiful, isn't it? That's what I said. Oh, that takes us to like eighth grade, right? And eighth grade is when it really got bad because that's when Betsy showed up into the picture. And once Betsy was in the picture, he stopped talking to me pretty much all together because she didn't want me at their lunch table, which was like, hey, do you guys know Brad? It's Matt. Brad is a great listener. Say hi, Brad. Hi. Hi, uh, beer. Don't you think it's beautiful? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's, what's up? I know. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? I know you wrote the letters. <laughs> Anna, have you been having a little too much to drink? Yes, but that's not why I'm saying this. <laughs> Banana. I... No, I... I know you wrote the letters because you're scared to tell me that you love me. So I'm gonna tell you first. Tim, I love whoa, you. Whoa, 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 Anna. I don't think we're on the same page here. No, Tim, we are. We are, we're the same. You know, you, um, you don't wanna be a realtor. You, you wanna be a journalist. I don't wanna take pictures of other people's weddings. We, um, we had big dreams and we compromised because we were scared of failing, but we don't have to be scared of this. I love you, Tim. I love you. And I've got a box full of letters that say you love me too. Oh, Anna, yeah, I... Tim. No, 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 I... Look, I... I did not write those letters. I didn't. But I do love you, Anna. I do. And I always will. Just as a friend. Okay? No. No, not okay. Tim, you love me, please. Anna, I'm... I'm sorry. No. No, 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 sorry. No, this isn't happening. This is, this Anna, is let, not let, real. Let me drive you home. No! No, this isn't happening. This isn't real. No, no. No, 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 no to that. No to you. No to you, no to you. No, no to this exhibit. No! No.
Frage. Mom? 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 Living room. Nice railings. They were custom designed, wrought iron. Um, we have the dining room right here with newly painted walls. Mom! Into the kitchen as well. Oh, you're not my mom. No. Anna, this is Tammy, our realtor. What are you talking about? Tim's our realtor. Tim was our realtor. He called this morning and said that he didn't think it would be appropriate to work with us any longer. He did not. He did. Did he say anything to you about it? Whatever it was, it must have been pretty bad because He's leaving a huge commission on the table. It's not actually that big a deal. Uh, I've had this happen several times before, uh, and I am thrilled to help you close this deal. There are just a few things we need to go over. Tammy, so I'm sorry, Tammy, that. is it? Tim should be the one doing this. I didn't mean to. He shouldn't have to. G are you OK? Is your sister also? Tammy, could you give us a minute? Of course, I'll just. Head into the kitchen. Great. What's going on? You look awful. Did you sleep in that dress? No. Yes. I gotta go. Anna, no. Hang on. You can't just keep leaving. We have work to do. Where's mom? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I just woke up and she's not here. Are you kidding me? When did you last see her? I don't know. I mean, last night before I left. You left her alone in the house last night? Yeah. She said she'd be fine. She said she'd be fine? What the hell, Anna? Why do you think you're here? She's not fine. She's never going to be fine again. I know. I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to step up and actually do something. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yes, to take care of our mother, not the other way around. She has never taken care of me. Are you kidding me? Ever since their divorce, it's been all about taking care of Anna all the time. It has never been about me. It's always about you. It is not. Wake up, Anna. Do you remember my eighth birthday? It was a slumber party. Not really. Do you remember that time you ran away? Yeah. Same night. When mom couldn't find you, all of my friend's parents came at like 11 o'clock at night to pick them up so we could go searching for you. I cried myself to sleep in the back of the car. Because I ruined your birthday. No, because I was worried about you. Brian, I'm sorry, I need... I don't care about what you need anymore. I care about finding mom. Okay, I'm coming with you. No, I think you've done enough already. No. You left the water running. You want to be careful about things like that. You don't want to flood before closing now, do we? Hello? You left her alone in the house last night? We have? She's... Never going to be fine again. Your responsibility, you're, you're, you're shirking. You are shirking your responsibility. Why do you think you're here? I don't need to cool off, Anna, and I don't need your help. Now go to your room. 
Do you remember my eighth birthday? Do you remember that time you ran away? You missed your curfew. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. I, I didn't run away. You always run away. Because you push me. I'm trying to protect you. From what? From me. Your father. You were so angry with me. I, 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 I tried to talk to you. I tried to be with you. But I didn't know what I was doing. You blamed me when your father left. And I blame myself. I failed. And when you ran away, I failed again. I failed at being a mother, just like I failed at being a wife. I'm not asking for sympathy. I just am trying to explain this to you while I still can. I loved you. I love you. I was trying to show you... Mom! Ryan! Mom! What are you doing here? I didn't know how to get home. Moon landing, right? Right. Have a good one. Thanks. playing with my mailbox? No. Are you lying? No. I told you not to play with my mailbox. It's private. I didn't touch your stupid mailbox, but not just because it's yours, because it's a federal offense to tamper someone else's mail. Nerd. Adam? Yeah? Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be okay? You ran away. So? Big deal, kids run away all the time. Are you gonna do it again? I don't know, maybe. Don't. Oh, it scared me, and it made Mom really sad. Whatever.
Careful now, don't drop that. I'm not gonna drop it, Mom. Jesus, this thing must weigh a thousand pounds. Don't use hyperbole, Brian, it's unnecessary. Can I help you, Mom? No, I'm losing my mind, not my balance. Here you go, Mom. Thank you. Oh, I remember. I packed you. Oh, shoot. For the road, I, 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 I pack snacks. P, B, and J. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Drive safely. I will. Take care of yourself. I'll do my best. Hang on, uh, just a second. I um, I made you something. You did? Yeah, it's not like a big thing or anything, but uh, here you go. Wow. I hope it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's more than okay. This is uh, thank you. Thank you. Hug the twins for me? Will do. <laughs> Thanks again. You're welcome. Bing!
Dear Dragonfly, the winds of change are blowing hard here in Chicago. You'll be happy to know that I actually finished those wedding photographs, and I think that even Michael liked them. We love them! And you were right. It felt really good to commit to the project and see it through to the end. That said, I think this was my last wedding, at least for a while. I'm still hoping for that coffee shop show, and I've been doing a lot of painting so that I'm prepared. How's your new home? I hope that the space feels like your own and that you like your new neighbors. Brian said that the twins love visiting and swimming in the pool. Pretty swanky. I'm excited to come back for Thanksgiving and see it for myself. With love, your daughter, Anna. of highs and my lowest of lows I've learned something to be true Even if I'll never find someone I could love Someone who could love me too There is so much love in this world There is so much love in this world Na 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 There's a little girl that is still stuck in her daydream Seeing things in the unseen Wanting, wishing, hoping, but 
Far behind a woman's stare, sober by your mood. Seeing magic everywhere, not putting love in boxes, and we all need someone to lean on. We all need someone to believe. Seven billion people living worldwide, yet we manage to feel lonely. Cause in my highest of highs and my lowest of lows, I. Something to be true. Even if I'll never find someone I can love, someone.